This screencast is one in a series on reactor calculations, and the title is the Plug Flow Reactor PFR. And the content is the Plug Flow Reactor, the PFR, some aspects of mixing, the mass balance equation, the different coordinates, one example applying first order kinetics, the concept of conversion, and the second example applying Michael Mentis kinetics. The plug flow reactor is very common in industry, especially in gas phase reactions, high temperature reactions, and it can also be used in chromatography. The plug flow reactor is open with respect to matter and or with respect to energy. And the mixing conditions are, there's no actual mixing at all, that means there's no mixing in the flow direction. However, perpendicular to the flow direction, the mixing is perfect, and it may be either in steady state or not. Let's just make some comments on the mixing. The CSTR is perfectly mixed in all three directions. The PFR is perfectly mixed in the radial directions, but there is no mixing in the actual direction. We can now compare that to laminar flow, where there's no mixing at all radially, there's no mixing neither in the radial direction or in the actual direction. With turbulent flow, there's some mixing radially and there's some mixing actually. The mass balance equation builds on the general mass balance, input plus production equals output plus accumulation. However, in this case, the control volume is a small slice along the actual direction. We call that dV. That's the smallest unit that is homogeneous. If we just consider this small slice, we can see that the input flow is the molar flow F, and there's also a small production of substance within the slice dV. We call that df prod. And that equals the output, which is the input flux plus a small change, df, plus at steady state, zero. This boils down to the equation df production equals df, which is the change in molar flow. If we translate this to process quantities, the equation becomes R dV equals the differential of Q times C. And at constant flow, R dV equals Q times dC. That means the small production on the left-hand side is balanced by small change in molar flux, which is on the right side. This equation was expressed in volume coordinates, R dV equals Q dC. But we can also express this mass balance in other coordinates. If we acknowledge that the differential of the residence time, d theta, equals the differential of V divided by Q, the mass balance becomes R d theta equals dc. We can also express the mass balance in length coordinates. We should acknowledge that a small slice dV has a volume which is the cross-section area times the thickness of the small slice, dL. We also know that the volumetric flow rate can be expressed as the cross-section area times the flow velocity. And if we combine these equations, we get R dL equals V dC, where the small v denotes the flow velocity, in units such as meters per second. This means that we can integrate this mass balance equation in various ways. If we use the volume coordinates, the design calculation becomes V equals Q, and the integral from the input concentration to the output concentration, dc over r. And the concentration profile along the volume can be expressed as dc dv equals r divided by q. If we prefer the residence time coordinates, we can calculate the residence time as the integral from c in to c, dc over r. And we can also calculate the concentration along the theta axis as dc to theta equals r. We can use the length coordinates to, for example, calculate how long a reactor must be. And L equals V, the flow velocity, integral from C into C, dC over R. And to express the concentration along the length axis, we get dC dL equals R over V. The methodology for PFR calculations does not differ from the methodology for other reactors. First, one should determine the flow and mixing conditions in terms of an ideal reactor model and define the mass balances. Then, one should define the kinetic equations and the kinetic coefficients. The third step is to create the design equation by combining the appropriate number of mass balances for the reactor model in question with the appropriate kinetic equations. And the fourth step is to separate variables and to perform the calculations analytically or numerically. And as we just saw, for the PFR, the variables can be separated in at least three ways. Let's take an example 
for first order irreversible reaction. Calculate the output concentration of A after reaction in a PFR according to the first order reaction A is transformed to B with the rate equation R equals K times CA. The data we have is the input concentration of A is 3 moles per cubic meter, the input concentration of B is 0.1 moles per cubic meter, the kinetic rate coefficient is 0.5, the reactor volume is 5, and the volumetric flow rate 1.25 cubic meter per minute. The first step is to define the flow and mixing conditions. Here we have a PFR, and the mass balance is needed is to calculate CA, we must solve the mass balance equation for A, and if we want to calculate CB, which we will not, we must calculate the mass balance equations for A and B. And the mass balance equation for B is RB theta equals dCB. The second step is to define the kinetic equation. And the reaction was first ordered with respect to concentration of A, so the general equation is K times CA, and the rate equation for A is minus K times CA, and the rate equation for B is RB equals K times CA. We can now combine the mass balances with the kinetic equations to form the design equations. And the design equation for A is minus K times CA equals dCA d theta. And the design equation for B is K times CA equals dCB d theta. We should now do the calculations. Well, there are two strategies. Either one can make the calculation in sequential mode, first solve for CA and then for CB, or I can solve CA and CB simultaneously. However, in this case we will only bother with CA. To solve the design equation analytically, we first separate the variables, so on the left hand side we get all the terms that refer to CA, and to the right we get all the terms that refer to the residence time. Then we find the primitive function and insert the boundaries. And the final expression is CA equals CN of A times E to minus K times theta. And with the resonance time of the PFR, theta equals V times Q, which in this case becomes 4, we get the output concentration CA out equals 3 times E to the minus 0 0.5 times 4, which is 0 0.406. The conversion with respect to reactant is, in general terms, X equals the difference between the molar flux in and the molar flux out divided by the molar flux in. And in process variables this becomes Q in times C in minus Q out times C out divided by Q in C in. If Q in equals Q out, we get X equals the difference between the input and the output concentration divided by the input concentration, which equals 1 minus C out divided by C in. And in this case, where we had a first order reaction, we can insert our expression for CA into the definition on conversion and get X equals 1 minus E to minus K times theta. The second example is an example where we apply the Michael Menten kinetics. Here a toxic substance, S, is emitted from a chemical plant to a stream. If this happens, the concentration at the point of emission expected to be 0 0.1 millimoles per cubic meter. And the substance is degraded biologically according to the equation Rs equals minus small ks times cs divided by large ks plus cs. In this case, small ks is a kinetic rate constant, and a large ks is called half rate constant. And we get values of small ks and of large ks, and also of the flow velocity, small v, which is 100 meters per minute. In this case, we should define the mixing model and the reactor is a PFR, and we have one mass balance in length coordinate, and that is the only mass balance and design equation needed. And that is Rs dl equals V times dCs. And if we insert the appropriate kinetic equation for Rs, the design equation becomes dl equals minus V, and we get in the numerator dCs divided by the kinetic expression. However, we can flip this to get minus V times, parenthesis, large Ks plus Cs to Cs over Ks Cs. We can separate this into two terms, so that minus V equals a first group, which is first order term, large Ks divided by small Ks times Cs, plus a zero order term, 1 over Ks to Cs. Now the solution is the following. On the left hand side, on the first line, we have the primitive function and the boundaries for L. To the right hand side, 
We have the primitive function for the first order term and the zeroth order term and the boundaries. And on the second line, we have evaluated L, and it becomes the flow velocity divided by the rate constant times parenthesis, the half rate constant times the L and the ratio between the input concentration of A and the concentration of A, plus the difference between the input concentration and the output concentration of A. So as we can see, the solution has, just as in Michael Menten's equation, a first order component and a zeroth order component. And with numerical values, we get that the length is 1646 meters. The content of this screencast was the plug flow reactor, some thoughts about mixing the mass balance equation, how to apply different coordinates, one example with the first order kinetics, the concept of conversion, and one example applying Michael Mantis kinetics.